Winter has been slow out of the blocks in the east, but it might surprise you to know that here at Sunday River in Maine, the lifts have been turning since October 14th. Sunday River makes snow as well and as fast as anyone. It certainly helps to have 1900 snow guns in your arsenal. So by the time the big 50th anniversary celebration rolls around here on December 19th, this resort should be in fantastic shape. Despite this week's rain, quite a few areas will be open this weekend, thanks to the snowmakers. Mountain Creek and Shawnee Mountain will open very soon. Blue Mountain is shooting for next Friday. Mohawk and Ski Sundown in Connecticut will make snow whenever they can now. Gunstock in New Hampshire should hit their target date. In the Berkshires, Catamount and Jiminy hope to operate this weekend, called to be sure, next weekend for Butternut. Wyndham and Hunter have a fighting chance to offer skiing and riding by Saturday. West Mountain in Glens Falls has started making snow. Gore and Whiteface in the Adirondacks should have some terrain open this weekend. Next Friday is Bromley's opening day. You should be able to make some turns this weekend at Killington, Smuggler's Notch, and Stowe, where a rail jam is on for Saturday. Out west, early snow has the season off to a fast start at Sun Valley and Brighton, and a few runs are skiable at Jackson Hole in Wyoming. Snowbird, Alta, and Park City in Utah are all in operation, but they need a dump or perhaps two to really expand their open terrain. Temperatures will be cold enough to start a big-time snowmaking effort in the east this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, the Skiing Weatherman. I'll see you next week.